Hey you guys, hopefully this records okay. It's actually nice outside, so I wanted to take the tablet out. I'm trying to get the moon in the shot, but I can't see my screen. Anyway, um, I think that tomorrow, well, basically starting tonight at sundown, that it is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And I know other people are on different schedules and I think they're going to be a week off to raw calendars. Um, but I think it is. And I was just thinking that unleavened bread is about getting rid of your sin out of your life, but also getting rid of the false doctrines and doctrines of man. Um, the Pharisees and Sadducees and everything, you know, we were taught that it was, the leaven was about them and what they teach us rather than what our father teaches us and so we've been taught that the tribulation everything happening in revelation is going to happen in the future and i don't believe that anymore i believe that most of it has already occurred and that is getting rid of a doctrine of the pharisees you know, and that is what I was led to study the last couple of days right before Unleavened Bread. So once again, I'm seeing connections between what's going on in my spiritual life to what's going on on the calendar with the feast days. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I think it is um, tonight at Sabbath. So of everything else that's lining up, and if you're interested in the idea that most of what happened in Revelation already occurred, and it has to do with Rome, of course. Um, I'll leave a link below to the playlist called uh, The Antichrist for Dummies, and it covers a lot of stuff. I don't like his attitude in some of it, but um, it's been kind of blowing me away with all the things that he covers, like the signs and the stars and everything. Um, and he might not be right on some things, but with so much stuff piling up, it's just kind of amazing. And I've known that much of it happened in the past, but I just thought that it's going to happen in the future too. And maybe it will. I think that basically the point is um, the bowls are repeating, I believe, until people stop. <laughs> it's judgment, you know, until people stop sinning then we're still going to have consequences for sin here. And hopefully the tribulations, as I mentioned in the other video about testing your metal, um, that people need to get run over by tribulations to understand that they need to stop sinning. So hopefully that's what's going on, is that there's just a lot of stuff piling. And it's just going to get worse and worse, basically. That everything is cyclical, there's nothing new under the sun, and it's just going to keep happening until people realize what's going on and stop sinning. So, um, yeah, I'll leave that link below if you want to check it out. And also, I discovered um, from it that Rome actually put into law that heretics could not buy and sell. And so, I'll leave that at the end of the video. Um, and I'll leave a link below if you want to check that out too. And they also said that Sunday observance is a mark of the Roman Catholic Church. And they've, they're already the beast. And I've described how Yahushua, in the image of the Roman Catholic Church, as the man god, is the beast of Revelation. And so everything's lining up. And that stuff happened in the past. I didn't know that they'd stopped people from buying and selling back then, but they had. So, you know. The Mark of the Beast is about following the Roman Catholic Church, and most church buildings today do. That's why we're supposed to get out of them and get rid of the doctrines of men, which is what Unleavened Bread is all about. Thanks for listening, and Shalom.